We did have a, a, an executive meeting on the 17th uh, of this month, which brought together the national government, uh, on behalf of the government of Kenya, the county uh, government, as well as the UCGLA leadership, led by uh, the Secretary General himself. And uh, what was resolved during that executive uh, Afri Cities uh, Committee meeting was that uh, one, uh, and these are very important resolutions, there were three key resolutions made uh, two days ago, uh, and one of those is that due to uh, some outstanding preparatory plans, cognizant of the fact that some countries are under different levels of restrictions because of COVID-19. There are some that have closed their borders, there are some that have lockdowns and restrictions on travel. Uh, uh, it would be necessary to change the date of the summit uh, to accommodate all countries that wish to participate. And instead of uh, holding this summit in Kisumu in November, it has been agreed that this summit will be moved to April 2022. So the dates will change from 26th to 30th, uh, I mean from, uh, from November uh, 2021 to 26th to 30th April 2022. The venue still remains where I've told you, Mamboleo uh, Showground in Kisumu, but we have adjusted the dates to accommodate all the participants uh, uh, who will be coming uh, to Kenya and to also allow for completion of the infrastructural uh, development that will be necessary to have us host successfully the ninth edition of Africa Cities. The second resolution is the theme of the summit. And what was agreed was that the theme of the summit will be the role of intermediary cities of Africa in the implementation of the UN Agenda 2030 and the AU Agenda 2063. Both of these agendas, as you know, speak to the need for urbanization, the need for resilient, sustainable development uh, in Africa and this is uh, one area that uh, we want to focus on to ensure that we succeed so that the future of Africa will lie in these new intermediary cities that have been developed to be able to uh, withstand the changes of our climate as well as pandemics such as the one we have had. Beginning last year Africa, just like the rest of the world, has been affected. So as we come to Kisumu, we'll also be sharing experiences as African countries, as subnational governments, to see how we have been able to respond to this pandemic. And as the Minister for Devolution, Namasi, I'm very, very proud uh, of our counties and the leadership that the governors have provided in responding to this pandemic, in building capacity, I think when we started, we just had about uh, seven or so uh, beds. As we speak, we have over 7,000 uh, uh, beds, with each county having raised the 300 bed uh, capacity threshold. So we, we're very grateful for that. And uh, when the other countries will be coming to us, they will also be coming to see how has Kenya handled this pandemic. So it would be a great platform for us to share these experiences. We will officially be launching the Afri Cities website and the early bird registration in Kisumu in the first week of April. That will give a clear roadmap from April 2021 to April 2022 when we will be having this uh, summit in Kisumu. So there will be an official launch that will bring together the National Steering Committee, all the uh, CSs involved, all the governors and the Council of Governors will be there together with this UCGLA uh, leadership uh, and we have been uh, uh, promised that the Secretary General himself would be here with us, uh, uh, Jean, Jean Pierre, Jean Pierre, a long bus, will be coming himself in April so that we officially launch uh, the website, we launch the revised uh, roadmap 
as well as uh, the early bird registration so that uh, we, we, we start now officially registering delegates and preparing for this conference. So we I would want on behalf of my chair to indicate that uh, the county governments, all the county governments will actively participate in this conference and uh, market this country to the rest of the world and also be able to actually even indicate and show that uh, subnational governments uh, are able to operate within a very short period of time because we have been in existence for only eight years. So ladies and gentlemen, as we arrange towards this conference, I want to tell all the Kenyans that all the governors, the 47 governors are together in this and they, we are supporting our brother uh, the, from the city of Kisumu uh, to ensure that we have a good conference. The summit is already creating a legacy going by the updates that are going to be given today. Secondly, it's important to know that Kisumu will be the very first intermediary city to hold the Afri Cities Convention, and this being the ninth edition on the theme Intermediate Cities of the Future Urbanization and uh, Developing Sustainable and Resilient Cities in line with the Special Development Goals. As a country, we are preparing ourselves to receive our guests from Kenya and East Africa and Africa as a whole and internationally to this important convention. And we do hope that uh, with the, the support of our <coughs> colleagues in the Council of Governors and the Vice Chair will sit here today, we are co collectively going to be hosting our brothers and sisters from all over Africa and the world to this very important convention. Thank you. Uh, mission from KTN, uh, from Standard. You have 